Hello everyone, I am your trainer Kopal Jori for the upcoming session planned for machine learning. Till now, every one of you would be familiar with scenarios and model for machine learning. Now let's do a deep dive in the consumption of the same and understand what predictions in machine learning means. As a part of this unit, we would be covering what is machine learning's prediction run, how on the UI you can see and see its related details, how prediction runs can be created and its entire life cycle. Prediction runs are mass data run objects defined per scenario which can utilize an existing active model of scenario to run predictions for a selected prediction dataset. Prediction run and scenario share the same data source. Exact set of data that is used for prediction can be specified by the prediction run filter conditions. You can define only one prediction run for a scenario. So if you deactivate one model and activate another model of the same scenario, you need not to create a new prediction run. In this case, you can run the same prediction run to update the prediction results. For example, trained and active model for opportunity success predictions can be used to predict the probability of success of new opportunities. The UI of the predictions can be seen as you can see on the screen. The prediction run contains two important tabs on the UI. One is a general tab, which contains the information about the prediction run created, who created it. And another tab has the execution detail that when, the, when it was executed and what was the outcome of the execution of the run. User can see whatever the prediction runs are available on their UI in their system and see when the prediction happened what is the respective application log available for that prediction run? How do you create prediction run? The prediction run has, when it's created, it's based out of scenario, which is released. Prediction run and scenario share the same data source. Exact set of data that is used for prediction can be also specified in the prediction run filter conditions. You have to declare when you create a prediction run the scenario which is based on a data source. Then you need to specify the filter condition which can restrict here what part of data source is relevant for prediction run. For example, you can restrict prediction to only open documents that is in a status open or in process in which the results is unknown. The filter condition is mandatory to avoid incorporation of irrelevant data in prediction run and to enhance the performance of the prediction run execution. Apart from filter conditions, you, have, you can consume this prediction run using the extension fields which are created on the business document. Here you need to mention two extension fields, one for prediction outcome and another for prediction probability as you can see it on the screen. The one prediction outcome, here you store the actual prediction results. That is for example a quote item, it's won or lost. And another is prediction probability, where you store the probability or confidence or the prediction which is numeric value expressed as percentage. Once all these needed information is provided, you can save the prediction run and set the status to active. Once prediction run is successfully created and its set is active, you can execute the run as per your need. The execution depends on what is the user requirement. Do you want to execute the run immediately or you want to schedule the run after some time? We have provided both the options on the UI. You can also view, once you have scheduled it, you can also view the jobs which has been scheduled for the later date or what is running right now. Once the execution is completed, whatever is the outcome can be seen 
in the application log which is present in the below tab in the execution details which I have just talked about in our first slide. Each application log will have its own settings, its general attributes and the results where all the data, whatever is processed, what are the documents, etc. would be displayed. So if anybody wants to see that if an execution has been started immediately or has been scheduled later and you want to come back and see whatever, what is the result of the same can be seen in the execution details tab. So the entire life cycle of prediction run is you create a scenario you release it, you create an active model on top of it. Once an active model is created, you create a run and make it an active run. If you want to change anything or you want to delete this run, from the UI there is an action where you set this active run to obsolete and then you can delete it. If you want to edit, you can make it obsolete, make, do the changes and then again change it to the active run. For a particular scenario, only one prediction run can exist at a time for a one active model. So this is about prediction run. What is prediction? How you can see it? How you can create the prediction run? Where you can see it? And what its life cycle? Now, let's do a deep dive into the system and see how you can create the prediction run. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I'm your trainer, Kopal Jori. After understanding the prediction run concepts and how it's useful, let's check the system for the same. Prediction run as mass data run objects, which are defined per scenario, which can utilize an existing active model of scenario to run predictions for a selected prediction data sets. As we are well aware of the scenario and model created in the previous unit, let's create the prediction run for the same active model and scenario which are created earlier. So here, if you see, there are two tabs in this work center, machine learning cockpit. General data, which has run name, descriptions, and all the administrative data. And the execution details tab, which has the details of the execution, which has been done on the run, which has been created. This is application log ID, which stores the results of the execution, which is done for the prediction results. Now, if we have to create new prediction, right? We click on this new and enter the required details in the general, like run name, which serves unique identity of the prediction run, which is a mandatory field. Then we put the description, which is a free text to describe the purpose of the prediction run. Here, because it's a course, let's keep it as open SAP prediction run demo. Now, once this is provided, we have to select the scenario name, which we created earlier in the previous units. That is Z code item conversion. It has to be in a release state. Once selected, we have to then do the prediction mapping. These are the two prediction result elements that needs to be mapped. Prediction outcome and prediction probability, which can be of the type text or extended text. Both fields provide selection list that contain key user extension fields that exist in application business object of the related scenario. First, prediction outcome, which will store the actual prediction outcome. For example, code item that can be won or lost, whatever it is. Second will store the probability or confidence or can say the prediction, which is a numeric value expressed as percentage. For the demo purpose, I have created two extension fields already for prediction outcome and probability mapping. So we will just map for prediction outcome, this run demo, sales code item status prediction run demo. And for prediction probability, the prediction probability run demo. Once these two fields are mapped, we have to specify the filter conditions for the prediction run. Filter conditions you can, can be used to restrict here 
what part of data source or which rows is relevant for prediction learn. For example, you can restrict prediction to only open documents. For example, if that's a status for any document type, like open or in process, in which the results is unknown. The filter condition is mandatory to avoid incorporation of the irrelevant data in prediction learning. We add, we do add row and we select the field name. For now, here, let's select the field name as item status. On selecting, we can add the value also from here. So we just click on that icon and select. For here, we select open and press OK. Once done, and we click on save so that entire prediction run data gets saved. And you can see the message below and we close it. So if you refresh the screen, you will see the status as in preparation. Means your run is created into the preparation state. To make it active, you have to go to actions and click on set to active. Once done, it will run some background jobs and then it will convert this run ID to active and you can see the entry and the status change also. Now for this run ID which is present you can do various other jobs like if you want to set it to obsolete once if you want to change it you can set it to obsolete from action as you will click on edit and if you try to change anything for the active run, you would see everything would be in the read only state. So any active prediction run, you cannot change it directly until unless you change it to obsolete. So if you have to make it obsolete and then you create a new run. Similarly, the run as it's an MDRO, you can copy it, you can view it, you can schedule it, you can start immediately because it's a job which has to be executed on the scenario or the model. So if you now want to schedule the prediction run, you click on the schedule button. It will open the normal UI where you can schedule the job. You can start immediately if you want. You can run after any other job if you want. If on a particular day you want to run or you want to run on daily, weekly, monthly basis. So it all depends upon your requirement when you want to execute. You can schedule it over here and save and close. For this demo, let's do start immediately so that we can see the results as of now. In the execution, so when you do it, you have to refresh it as we did start immediately. And you saw this is the new run, which is in process, but execution because we have started it, it got created. And we have an application log ID for the run which we created. So this is the general information that how many business documents got selected. If we go to the results tab, you can see what is the output of it. Same. So it would when it would get completed. So if you see for the previous run which was already exit, it has finished and it has a different application log ID. So the for the one which it's there, it's still in process because it will definitely take some time to process all the instances. General data has your normal information like run name or description. Also, you can view the job which you, which you have just executed. So this is about the prediction run which has been created. You can see execution details. You can see the general data. You can see when it's scheduled. You can view the job. And if you see it's finished over here also as in the view job also it was completed. Status also you would see it's marked in green. And how many on predict action which is the main action which has been performed for this job. So it has processed how many packages and how many were successful. It will be displayed over here. And if we expand it, it you will see all the erroneous messages also. So if we click, you would see what are the errors and what are how many are successful. And on based on the same, you can check whatever is the result of the same. 
so this app log also helps in finding how many are still running or how many are done so this is about what is prediction run how you can create it